season long. In fact, it's so popular, I've got three glorious colors left. We've already sold out of three other colors. We have a taupe, we have a really pretty blue, and of course we have the gray. Now guys, we gave you a peek at that gray earlier when we matched it back up to our today's special, that three-piece beautiful reversible comforter set. But this one is the one that can do it all. It can really create that magical moment. And guys, I would love if we can, not right now, but in a couple minutes, to turn the lights down and show our little vignette in the bedroom with the Christmas tree, because I think it is part of the magic that you can create, especially if you do not have a fireplace. Carrie McNally, how the heck are you? I'm great. <laughs> where are you going? You're standing way over there. Well, He's like, I'm getting out of the way. This is where the heat is. It's freezing in this <laughs> studio. Oftentimes for you folks at home, uh, television studios are freezing. They it's keep them at around 60 cold. degrees, 65 degrees, because there's thousands of lights up here, and so it gets hot. So. I'm always a popular guy here because I bring this incredible heater. Now, this is not like our grandparents' space heater or even our space heater. When I was growing up, it looked like a ray gun from a bad 1950s black and white movie. And you movie. never wanted to get near it. Right, oh, you turn it on, it would start to make noise and it would smell weird. This is state-of-the-art <laughs> yeah, technology. Because it was burning the dust. Right, Remember exactly. <laughs> so this is state-of-the-art technology. This is infrared heating technology, which means it heats objects in the room and not the air. So it doesn't dry out the air the way typical forced air, oil, gas, or electric heaters do. And this flame effect is the same technology that they use in Hollywood. Here's a great animation, Suzanne, that shows you that the cold air, represented by the blue arrows, is pulled into the back of the unit. Then it goes up, over, and around the infrared heating bulbs, and then it pushes the heat gently out into the room. And when we talk about heating, a very large space in your home, your co-op, your apartment or condominium, whatever it is, we're talking about 466 square feet. And look at this. Now this is year round, by the way, because you can use that flame effect with the heat or without. And when my brilliant and beautiful wife, Karen and I are like binging shows or watching a movie. We will watch, you know, a movie with this on in the middle of July or August without the heat effect on. But this is a real powerhouse space heater that will heat a place uh, the size of about a two and a half car garage, a two and a half, two car garage. No kidding. 466 wow. square feet in a matter of minutes. It has a 12 hour timer, which means you can set it to turn on like a half an hour before you get out of bed or a half an hour before you get home. It also has really important safety features. The first and foremost of which is if it ever overheats for any reason, it shuts itself off. If it ever tips over, forward, backward, left or right, it will shut itself off before it actually hits the ground. So great state of the art heating uh, and safety features. It's gonna heat a space up to a two car garage and it weighs less than 11 pounds. It has a very small footprint. It's 21 inches tall, 17 inches wide and about 11 inches deep. And it is absolutely positively gorgeous. We brought in like 15 plus thousand of these units we're down to the final three colors of these, Suzanne. This has been so popular. I was like, wait, let me give an update too. If you guys want the taupe color, I'm down to less than 100 left. We've got it on sale tonight. We have that unique flat five flex that we're working with too. So you can get this home for $119. And we just wanted to set the mood for you because Carrie, you know, there's a lot of places. In fact, our home does not have a fireplace. We used to in my old home, but my little condo, we don't. Mm. And, but I miss it terribly. Yeah. I miss the whole ambiance and the feeling of, of it. But look, think about your bedroom, okay? So we've been talking talking a lot about your bedroom. Chances are you don't have a fireplace in there, but look what happens. We've got the tree sparkling. We've got the fireplace going. It's helping to heat the bedroom beautifully. We've got our yummy, yummy today's special. So we're all curled up and maybe we're reading a book or we've got the pets with us and we're watching the fireplace and it is working to heat the room at the same time. To me, this is the experience we want, right? And a lot of times, well, if I had a designer, if I had a big house, I'd have it. Well, you don't have to wait for that anymore. You can create this ambiance with just a couple of items that we're featuring tonight. This is our three piece today special, which is amazing. We've got the fireplace on sale. It has been the most popular one we've offered all season long. And Carrie, you, you and I both know, this is a limited window when you bring in our fireplaces. Right. <laughs> well, and the beauty of this one too is it has three windows. So you can see it from all three sides. It has four settings on the flame effect and you can use it with the heat or without. You can see the heating bulbs right there at the top of the unit. You can turn that off 
off and just use the flame effect in June, July, August, September. It takes about two minutes to put the legs on. You can use it with the legs or without the legs. It comes with a universal remote. A lot of folks have purchased like more than one of them. And you don't have to worry about mixing and matching the, the, the remotes. They work for any of the units. I love this as a gift for somebody that maybe is in assisted living and they can't control the temperature in their particular unit or someone that's away in college. Most of those college dorms are made out of what? Cinder block yeah. and same thing. You don't always have full control over the temperature in your dormitory. How about downstairs in the finished or unfinished basement? How mm -hmm. about that room at the end of the hall that nobody ever uses all winter long? Because it just doesn't get any sun throughout the or day in the winter. what about a sunroom? You have a people who close yes. the sunroom down Absolutely. all, I think that's so sad if you have a sunroom yeah. and you have to close it all winter because it's so freezing. Right. And I love the fact it's infrared technology. Now another favorite, favorite feature I love, it's got a thermometer. And people yes. think, well that sounds crazy. It's not, it's so smart and it's actually advanced to have that right because if you have one of the old ones got the dial on it right yep. and you're just cranking up that little space ceramic thing sure that's just blowing out heat blow yep. blow 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 with the thermometer it only comes on when it senses the room needs it yes and you, I always say take the zone heating challenge if you really want to maybe save some money maybe even pay for this right take the zone heating challenge that means take the thermostat in your home take it way down to something that would be rather uncomfortable let's say 65 or 66 or 68 degrees that would be too cold for you perhaps now set your warm living to exactly the temperature you want. Maybe that's 73, maybe that's 74. It's gonna be 73 or 74 in that room, that living room kitchen area, that bedroom bathroom area. Take a look at this floor plan that we put together for you. Remember, we're talking about a space heater that weighs less than 11 pounds. It has a tiny footprint. It's 21 inches tall. It's 17 inches wide and about 11 inches deep. But when we show you this floor plan, when we talk about 466 square feet, Suzanne, we're talking about a big space. These two bedrooms are coming in at right around 175, 180 huh. square feet, wow. right? right? 180 square feet. This space heater will heat a space of 466 square feet. That's an independent laboratory testing. The living room is only 418 square feet. Most living room kitchen areas will be covered by this space heater. That's amazing, if you have a home actually. office, if you have a larger bedroom suite, if you have a den or a large great room, you're covered with this space what, heater. Oh, and think about your garage. How many people have detached garages? Exactly. Or just a regular garage that has right. no heat in it. Yep, absolutely. And so again, it becomes kind of useless space except sticking the car in there, right? right? Yeah. Now, if you're a hobbyist, if you've got your workshop out in the garage, you actually can use that space all winter long without freezing to death. Yeah. All right, three colors. The taupe is going to sell out. So if that's your favorite, grab it now. I really love the taupe because it's such a great neutral. Yes. It would look great with our um, animal print, that leopard print bedding we have as our today's special. I think that would beautiful because there's taupe in it but this will blend into any room decor if you buy the taupe and then of course we have the gray i think that's another really nice neutral the other one we have is more like a colonial blue and i think this is really pretty and very unique now look at the temps i know rick's so excited about the low temps he's like look at the temperature suzanne it's getting cold and it's only going to get colder Yay! out there but what i love that you said carrie is it might pay for itself after the first winter sure. because you can lower the heat in your overall house right. so you know why heat the whole house up when you're sleeping just in your bedroom at night my my dad and my stepmom used to have this little contest. They lived in Durham, North Carolina, so almost like right there in the middle of the East Coast. And he was so <laughs> devoted to his warm living space heater, he would have this little contest to see if they could get <laughs> through the entire winter without ever turning the heat. He'd say, I'm not cutting the heat on. Okay, we're not cutting the heat <laughs> on all winter long. But you can literally get by with this if you have an office, whether it's a home office or you're commuting to an office, sometimes, um, Scrooge, the boss, doesn't want to turn the heat on in the <laughs> office. He wants to pinch a few pennies. Have this in your office. Have this in your cubby. Have this in your area. It really does a wonderful job. If you have pets, if you have fur babies, we have a beautiful Labrador Retriever. She's going to be four this spring. Olive, she's always on the floor right in front of the warm living uh, fireplace. If you're just tuning in, by the way, as you can see here, this is where the heat is coming from at the top. 
and these are three infrared heating bulbs. They heat you subcutaneously, like a warm bowl of soup from the inside out. It's analogous to when you were a kid and you were in the shade, but you stepped out into the sun and you were warm from the inside out. It does not dry out the air the way oil, gas, or electric forced air does. That's the beauty of infrared heating technology. And it has what I think are the two most important safety features. If for any reason whatsoever it overheats, it shuts itself off. If for any reason it's going to tip over, maybe the dog ran through or the little ones are in, in the room, it, before it hits the ground, whether it goes forward, backward, left or right, it has a pendulum shutoff switch. It will shut itself off before it hits the ground. So two very important safety features. It also has a 12 hour timer, which means if you want to keep it really cold at night because you're all bundled up, you've got the Today Special, you've got these wonderful comforters, these great pillows, and you want to keep the temperature really low overnight, but you don't want to have to get out of bed and have it be freezing in the room, right. have this turn on a half an hour before or your alarm goes off. That's a great idea. And then that idea. way the bedroom is nice and cozy or and warm. Or warm up your kitchen. Like, or warm up your if kitchen. you have an old house, our kitchen floors used to be so cold. Right. So because I got the house was old. I got an email and this wonderful viewer said, I set my warm living a heater at the same time as my coffee maker. Oh, perfect. Right, so 15 <laughs> minutes before she comes oh, out of the bedroom. Into nice. The, the coffee is being made and the warm, the, 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 the room is being warmed up. I'll tell up. you the best place to put it, and you gotta be, you don't wanna put it right near the bathtub, yeah. but it's if you have a, a bathroom that's yeah. got an extra plug in it, yep. can you imagine pre-setting it before you go in to take a shower? Right. Yep. <gasps> yep. That would be like one of the greatest luxuries Absolutely. ever. Here's another pro tip. Uh, some dear friends of mine, a fellow comedian, uh, uh, fellow comedian, uh, uh, he and his wife have been bu buying property as Airbnbs, right? Mm -hmm. And one of them had this fireplace and it was all white and they thought, oh gosh, and they looked at the chimney and they, the guy gave them a huge estimate for fixing the chimney. So they decided not to do it. So I said to him, I said, look, get, get one of the warm living fireplaces mm -hmm. and put it in the fire. Place. That's a great idea. And then just you know hide the cord and plug it in, and then just use the remote to turn it on. It's been, and then they use that in the advertising, and of course, you know, they're renting the place like crazy. And also, I just think anytime you have this look and feel, it's fun because it just makes, like our bedroom scene. I mean, that's kind of the perfect way you want to go to sleep. You've got a fire going. There's even a crackle from what yeah, I understand. Yeah, absolutely. Can you turn that on as well and yeah, then oh, turn yeah, that yeah, off? Yeah, whenever you turn, whenever you turn the heater on and when the fire, you just hear it. It's very subtle. It's like a little, just a little bit of a crackle. But remember, this is, is really the cool. idea of this is so it looks like a pot belly stove, right? That's yes. the point. Now, okay, pot belly stoves, if you go to any, like Pinterest or one of the social media, you know, posting sites where you just put pictures, you will find not hundreds, but thousands of pot belly stoves, like real ones. They're made out of iron. They, they were invented towards the end of the 19th century, back in the late 1800s, made out of iron. So they weigh 500 to 1,000 pounds. If you wanted to get an antique one, you'd have to find one somewhere. Then you'd have to get a permit. Then you'd have to drill a hole in the side of the house and create a chimney. Now, the other part of a pot belly stove, and we discovered this the bad way, and I know you ski, was because we rented a cabin and we fired up a pot belly stove. Hey, once you turn on a pot belly stove, there's no turning it down. It's, you gotta, and I'm like having been in the Marines and I was a Boy Scout, I made a big fire. I made a fire inside the pot belly stove. Well, the next thing you know, we're opening up the windows in the cabin because it's, so it's like 100 <laughs> degrees in there. Yeah. This has a thermostat on it. And I wanna show you right here. This folds down, it's a magnetic, magnetically held little door. And this has all of your buttons on it. So this one's obviously a snowflake. So you turn that on or uh, at high, this is over 5,400 BTUs. At, on low, it's over 3,300 BTUs. Up or down, right there, pretty self-explanatory. There's the clock. That's that 12-hour timer. You can set this to turn on a half an hour before you get out of bed or half an hour before you come home. And this is the flame effect. You have four separate settings on that, and you can use it year round with or without the heat and there's your on and off switch and there's your actual temperature so you can set it to exactly what you want in the 50s all the way up to 90 degrees. Well, and you know what's so great about that guys it, it's only using its own power when it needs to so when it senses the room is getting to 71 degrees the heat's going to come on yes yep. so it's going to come on or come off automatically now when you have let's say that little space heater you have once you turn it on it's just full on on and if you want to turn it down or turn it off you physically walk over to do it and it's just 
just not very effective. And they're not pretty. You have those little ceramic ones. They're just not good looking. This gives you the benefits of being able to have a thermostatic heat controlled fireplace, plus that whole idea of the, of the atmosphere of just having a beautiful crackling fire if you want it to be, all in one. And I love that. Like, yeah. why would anybody go? Here's what always happens. You know this, Carrie. Up north, they get the first big, really cold oh. night. Ooh. Like, I mean, you know, minus something. Oh, yeah. Everybody runs to the hardware store. That's it. And they will pick up that one space heater that's got a dent in it <laughs> simply because they're freezing. Yeah, yeah. Please don't be that person. No. And then you're stuck with that silly little ceramic one that doesn't look cute, and you're always futzing with it, or yeah. just it just certainly doesn't heat up 400 square feet. Oh, gosh, no. Or go, get this one now, and you're proactive and you're ready. Look you know what's at nice this. about this, too, Look how Carrie? Gorgeous it's this is. years of using this, Absolutely. too. Absolutely, yes. And, and as I said before, take the zone heating challenge. Turn the thermostat way down in your apartment, your co op, your condominium, or your home, and then set this to exactly the temperature that you want and that you deserve in the room that you're in. Right. We always use this analogy if you're going to go ahead and make some pasta, you need to boil water. Why would you turn on all five burners? You wouldn't. And yet we do that in our homes. We heat up all the rooms. Mm -hmm. And some of these rooms we don't spend any time in. And I love this as a gift throughout the year, whether it's, you know, whether it's just this holiday or it's someone's birthday that's coming up, because it is the gift of warmth and it keeps on giving. And we all have somebody that we love that's and near you know, and dear all that's desperately, always cold. But we always have that space we need. Like you sure. said, it's that, it's the room at the right. end of the hall. Yes. And your heating system, your central heating just doesn't quite heat it up. Nope. It's the sunroom you close down for the whole year. Absolutely. Maybe it is a garage. Right. And, you know, the husband or whoever likes to tinker out there doing their hobbies, now keep that nice and warm. Or maybe you just want a warm garage when you go get in the car. And, or, or you come home at the end of the day. You know what I do with my garage is if I don't feel like getting in the car or getting dressed and getting in the car and going to the gym, I have enough weights out there in the garage. I can get a quick workout oh, in the garage. Right. So maybe that's just what it's for as yeah. well. We have our washer and dryer out in the garage. There's another reason to go ahead and heat up the garage just a little bit when you're out there maybe folding clothes or just loading up the, the washer or what, the dryer. And you know what a lot of people way up north suffer from yep. is they have a cold garage and actually their car won't start because it's so there's, cold. There's another you know the reason. ones who plug in their battery all night? They yep. have a battery warmer. Sure. Those are those you way up north, right? Oh. But imagine being able, this will sense the temperature in the garage. Yep. So, and you said it goes from 50 to 90. Oh, so yeah. let's say in the garage you want it just to keep your car warmer yep. so you don't have to worry about the battery. Sure. You set it at 55, 60 degrees. That's it. I mean, it's amazing. Yep, that's it. And the beauty of this too is th you just put the legs on. You need a simple Phillips head screwdriver. You can use it with or without the legs because as you can see right there, the heating element is at the top. Oh, it is. It weighs you, less than can 11 I pounds. Tell you, what, you guys got to see this because when I looked at it, I thought, oh, it's going to weigh a ton. No. And so I wasn't going to pick it up nope. and I just picked it up for the first time. <laughs> if you actually wanted to move this room to room, yep. you easily can, guys. Yep, this, absolutely. This weighs probably less than my tote I brought in to come to work. Right, yeah. Like, and you'll see, you guys, I'm literally... Oh, it's definitely less than what my... my my, Your wife carries. I'll, 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 I'll grab my wife carries yes. handbag. I'm like, what is in this? But but what you know what? It looks so nice. You yeah. think it does weigh well, a lot right, more? Because it looks like I it's a it popular around. stove, which yeah. is made out of iron, but it weighs less than 11 pounds. Remember, That's it's awesome. 21 inches tall. It's about 17 and a half inches uh, from left to right, and then it's only 11 inches deep. So it really takes up a very small f footprint, but it has a lot of power and great safety features. It will heat a space the size of, of a two-car garage. And that's, that's why it's been so popular because nobody likes being cold. Nobody likes to be cranky and nobody has to wear layers and layers and layers. This way you get the temperature that you want and that you deserve in the room that you're in. And you can turn the thermostat way down in the rest of the house and be comfortable all winter long. Okay, taupe is almost gone. Gray is following that and then finally blue. And we had other colors because Carrie launched this before, you know, obviously a couple weeks ago. Yeah. This is the only time we're doing it, too, by the way, and it's on sale, which is great. So you're saving money. You have the five flex. If you have a major credit card, you're going to pay it off in five months. If you're brand new, you can use that, too. So you're going to get this home for $24. And you have until the end of January to send it back. So yes. you're going to really give this a good test run. And if you don't love it, you can return it to us and we'll refund your money. But don't miss out on the final colors. And we only do this during this time of year. It's not like we have 10 more heating systems coming in over no. the next three months. No, this is it. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and 